Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 11th of November, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates St. Martin of Tours. St. Martin of Tours was born in the year 316 in Pannonia, Hungary. He was born to pagan parents and uh, he joined into the military at the age of 15 itself. And once, one day when he was coming back from his military work, he found a beggar fully naked on the road. And uh, the beggar asked, uh, asked him for help. Uh, Martin of Tours, he took his cloak, tore it into half, and gave the one half of the cloak to the beggar and went back home. In, in his dream, he, he saw that Jesus was wearing that cloak which he gave to the old beggar. And that was enough for Martin of Tours to change his life. He came, he became first a hermit. He became a hermit, he dedicated his life for Christ. And later, when the chair of the Bishop of Tours in France was empty, by local pressure, by on public majority vote, he was made as bishop. As a bishop, he was someone who was for justice, justice and peace at time, at same time. Martin of Tours was known for his love for the people and, and the way he dealt with them. He used to journey and travel and meet his people in the times where Priscillianism and Arianism were rampant, he, he would stand for the truth of the church. When he got chance, he converted his own mother, but his father remained pagan. Martin of Tours was really a famous saint. Uh, he wanted people to live a life for Christ and therefore he brought monks together and some of the monasteries are still present even to this day. In the middle centuries, the middle ages, the cult of Martin de Porras, the devotion to him was really rampant in Europe. This can be seen from the number of churches built in his name. So dear brothers and sisters, Today, as we celebrate this great bishop, Martin of Tours, this one story where a small act of charity brought a 360 degree change in a person. If a small act of charity of giving half of a cloak could change a sinner into a saint, just think how much more can we do? The Lord gives us opportunity to be charitable. Let us be charitable. Amen.